everyone welcome to onyx earth tarot everything you need to know about me is in a description box below so we are back with another timeless pick a card reading it is a love 18 plus adult reading it is we're going to be looking at your person's love language um and we're going to see if we can get some adult themes that come through as it relates to that and how that may um come out as they're expressing their love right so this can be for an ex it can be for a current partner it could be for um a future partner someone you're interested in it could be whatever your situation is however it applies however it resonates take it so um i'm gonna well, i'm not I will list out the piles, but you should go back to the intro so that you can have the visual. It is in the thumbnail that you selected, and it's also um, the last slide of the intro clip. So, pile one is the gold balloons, pile two is the rose gold pink balloons, and um, pile three is the silver blue balloons, okay? So, once you select your pile, I will see you there. All right, pile one, if you selected the gold balloon, then um, this is your reading. So I'm going to pull some cards from this tarot deck, a few love-based oracle decks, and then we'll pull from that um, sex answers erotic sex hybrid that I have. So let's see, pile one, what is your person's love language? There's a card in here somewhere. Here we go. Look at that. Mm. Six of Wands. So Six of Wands, it is a card of victory. It's a card of success. It is a feel-good praise. So this person um, may have a praise kink. They may like to praise people. Um, this is this is a person that um, thrives on making sure that their partner feels good. At the bottom, you do have the lovers. Um, I almost want to stop there, but I do want two other cards. So we're going to keep rolling with it. But just very fast-paced energy coming in immediately for pile one. And this person they like to feel successful they like their person to feel successful so it's not just coming through as love like this is the type of person that's only going to be seeking um romantic connections casual or otherwise when they feel like they're in a good space like they're not um i don't want to say that they have a healthy approach to love because i don't know this person that deeply yet i haven't looked that deeply into it but this isn't a person that's not that's going to be pursuing anyone on any level if they're not in the mental emotional or physical space to do so like if this person is not where they want to be like financially or if they feel like they have like some emotional baggage that they need to work through they're not going to pursue any types of connections of that nature so that's just something that really came through for that person and also um with the lovers being at the bottom, it just, this is a person that really takes pride in their connection. So they're probably super selective about how they approach people and who they pursue. Um, but yeah, definitely someone that, um, it's, 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 like I said, that praise kink, that kind of worship thing, like this is a person that um, likes to worship their romantic partners, like whether we're talking about sexually, like really praising them and they like that return as well. Like this is a person that thrives on one attention <laughs> with that six of wands. They really, really love attention and they love giving it in their romantic connections, but they also, um, it's not also, it's they love attention and they love giving attention. Okay, very much so. Very attentive. Mm -hmm. More fire energy. You've got the Nine of Wands, which um, it feels like someone that um, definitely, um, and again, goodness, that um, lover's card definitely wants to be at the bottom. So we'll see what happens when I get this third card. But um, okay, Judgment. Okay, so here we go. I was, I was just about to go into that energy of the Nine of Wands. Um, at the bottom, you now have the Queen of Swords. Let me put this down. Okay. Um, so what I was going to say about that Nine of Wands is that this person really, um, in all of this fast-paced energy, they take their time. I, I think I mentioned being selective. This is a very attentive, very selective individual. And so when they, um, their love language, the way that they proceed with expressing that, it is um, to not rush. Right. So that nine of wands, it is a pause right before 
a go-getter energy. So this may be a very this may this person's approach to connections may be very slow paced initially and then boom rapid pace and i was gonna say that anyway but with the judgment card following that nine of wands it is the case it's like okay let me just take my time figuring out what's going on and um or even like it, i'll even say specifically as it relates to you pa one this person will t kind of take their time getting to know you figuring it out figuring out if your love languages um work together if you're compatible and then once that's the case it's like six of wands victory um judgment okay let me move on this connection make my expectations um for this connection very clear to my partner with the queen of swords but just be very clear in um i can't even find the words just th being very clear in their expression of their love language and how they um pursue the connection if that makes sense um but yeah, this is a very, very smart person. So it, it comes out like that with that Six of Wands, Queen of Swords. It's a very star, smart, very strategic individual. Probably someone that sees a lot of success in whatever area, right? Whether it's spiritual, mental, emotional, physical success. Because again, you've got that Six of Wands, which is praise. This is a person that loves to be praised. So they're always going to put themselves in a position to be praised. So I just see this individual being super successful. So let me pull from these... Um, astrology based decks and see if I can get one from each of the two that I have on the table right now so we can get more about this person's love language but I mean I'm not gonna lie that 18 plus energy is coming out very quick it is praise worship especially like that um like I don't want to offend anyone's religious things by using that word worship but praise but I mean if you know what I mean like like I'm using those words because I'm I'm on YouTube and I can only be um so explicit with my words but like this is a person that's very very attentive um and whatnot okay Let's see i would like one from the moonology deck please the power one's person's love language yeah so um you've got the waxing moon, right, which is a buildup. We talked about that, right, that nine of wands, that pause before, that judgment, that initial, um, that that decision, that final decision of, boom, I'm going for it. Um, that's just this person's pursuit. So, like, very slow moving, almost nail-like, and then I'm in there, right? Um, this energy is gaining momentum. So, that, that definitely complements the energy of those cards. At the bottom, you do have hold your vision. So, that's a very, very stable person, let me put this here. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to position all of my cards um, that are not on the table. So let me get one more um, from this other deck so I can talk more about it. This person's love language. Yeah, this is a person that, that their love language is attention. Like, okay, like it is, it is um, probably acts of service. Like this will be a person that um, does things so that you can praise them and whatnot. You have the sage moon purify. Mm -hmm. This is a person that um, likes to take care of people. Lots of um, that purple energy here. So crown chakra, very, um, very in tune with their crown chakra right you have a shaman at the bottom which is scorpio energy so that, that could be um a relevant placement for one or both of you and um the energy is gaining momentum purified this is a person that um when i say acts of service and attention and doing things that will get them praise from you and um them wanting to be praised well them wanting to praise you as well it is a person that kind of, um, they like to make sure that their partners glow up. Like they assist in that journey. So in areas of your life where you can be better, this is a person that really kind of assess, kind of takes pause and assesses in that nine of wands exactly what it is you need in that judgment card to kind of take things to the next level. And they're good. This is a person that's going to be, um, I say going to be, but whatever your situation is, has been, will be, whatever um focus on your healing and your well-being like this is a again a caretaker acts of service this is a person that will like cook this is a person that will clean like if you need um them to take on some type of um errand for the, for you they'll do it like this is a person that really wants you to feel um supported by them and um with purify it's all about a fresh perspective like this is this person it's truly a glow up energy of making sure that you have what you need to be the best version of yourself with that 
judgment card and that purifying energy like this is a person that's going to really push you on your path and that's how they proceed all of their romantic connections that's just their love languages making sure that their partners um or people that they're dealing with on a romantic level at all are um flourishing as they are so let me pull from um these three romantic based decks and then i will get um into those erotic decks to see more of this um, adult themed energy, which it is. I'm not gonna lie, it is. It's, um, it's 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 coming through prominently. Like I said, I'm being very um, selective with my words, but um, that worship praise kink definitely a thing that this person um, and this person's love expression. So let me get one from here, and I want one from each of these decks yeah okay let me slide these over so we can we can get the full picture so you do have a rocky start rocky starts can lead to happy endings you'll have to decide if it's worth the fight the choice will be yours so that's one and it kind of makes sense we talked about this person being very selective um especially with unforeseen love at the bottom you may meet or know someone who will grow to love turning friendship into a relationship that may be relevant um but the reality is with this person, we talked about them being very successful um, and needing to feel successful in whatever area of life before they can kind of engage anyone on a romantic level, before they're comfortable even expressing their love language, right? So I could see whether we're talking past, present, future, it not starting so well, um, maybe a pause in whatever phase of whatever connection it is with that nine of wands because with that rocky start falling right underneath it it is like okay we're kind of going there's a pause and then okay boom we're going again <laughs> so whatever that uh means for you this if this is a message that you needed to confirm that this is the this this is your pile and that this is your energy i'm picking up on um that is that confirmation for you so but this person um This person feels like they've been a bit unlucky in love, I'll say that much, because um, that rocky start feels like it's always kind of, it always goes left for them, and that's why they're the way that they are, why they um, focus on um, being overly attentive, um, that whole, um, what, what, what did I say, um, acts of um service like feeling like they need to take care of the people that they're um with romantically making sure they kind of this person kind of has a tendency to overextend i'm not gonna lie um and that's where that praise kink that worship kink comes from is um that them not having success in past connections so them kind of overdoing and trying to aim for perfection um so that um they get that um that at a boy at a girl energy right especially during sex so we have chemistry right there's a strong magnetic attraction here what did i say it's very um very i'll just let that sit like that so we have the space it's very sexual i'm not gonna lie but it there has to be that trust right the situation is calling for you to have faith there has to be that trust element for this person to open up and really express themselves um in a love-based way um but there, there's this person once there's chemistry and i'm gonna read it as though it's with you since you are selecting the power for the person like it seems like there's a lot of chemistry in this connection that we're like you're inquiring about like since we're asking about the love language generally but it is as it relates to you power one so uh, rocky star chemistry again it, it feels like whatever energy gain momentum it's picking up with that judgment card after that nine of wands because whatever this rocky start was that chemistry there's just such a pull right like some there, there's a pull right it, especially with judgment there's a pull that um seems to be affecting the connection and i and i'm trying to figure out what that is let me um get my um last love base card before well no I'll read, I'll read these, um, but I just wanted one, but maybe this is answering the question why so much like situation energy is coming through. Like we're just trying to kind of get the expression and how this person expresses um, themselves intimately through sex and whatnot and romantic connections and how they express their love. But there's a situation that's trying to come through here that I'll, I'll, 
I don't mind touching on it lightly, but I don't want this to get too long. So you do have interferes and really ready to love. So if that's been an issue, um, like that trust component we talked about, the, the trauma from the past, connections, um, if that's been in a way of your connection, just know that, um, especially with building a future at the bottom, um, it is going to clear itself out. So let me get another card so we can focus back on that. Um, there we go. Okay. That love language accountability someone needs to take accountability for their actions it may be you your partner or both of you acknowledging the effects of your behaviors allows you to move forward so that may be something that needs to happen that may be that heavy energy coming through um that i was seeing but i'm not going to focus on that i will say accountability definitely is a heavy uh theme in this person's love language because once they're in like once they're pulled in they are super responsible they feel completely responsible for the connection they take the lead on it right judgment six of wands they are not gonna hold back energy is gaining momentum like they are very expressive in their love language this is a very active person when it talk when we talk about expressing their love language like they may not necessarily know how to express themselves verbally in an emotional way hence the queen of swords like they may not be the best with their words but their actions with the six of wands the judgment um they're they're very very um they're i'll show you kind of love language individual and it definitely translates over to the bedroom when we talk about that 18 plus energy that accountability holding themselves accountable making sure that you are pleased um making sure that um you know how to please them those types of things like it's very um the word is energetic right <laughs> like i mean we do have the energy is gaining momentum but it's energetic a lot of energy coming through um like that so where's my deck there it is Let's see what we can get specifically um, as it relates to that 18 plus energy. But we, we got a lot about this person's love language. But let's see. Um, and I'm not going to lie. We did. I did. I glossed over it because there's only so much I can say about um, that sexual energy. Um, but it, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I do see like some down sub energy. Like um, I'm, I'm hearing like energies like where... Um, Sex is treated like a reward in certain instances with this person. Like this, this is a, um, like I said, that praise kink, right? So let me. All right, let's get more on that eighteen plus energy here. Open the relationship. It's interesting. Um. So me putting that next to the Six of Wands, just, I do naturally lay the cards like that. It's feeling more public. Like it's not necessarily, some of you may be in open relationship. Like this is a person that kind of wants something casual and they would like to be able to kind of um, explore their other options and whatnot. Um, others of you, it's the complete opposite of that. It's more of a, like a staking of a claim. There's like a, a bit of a, like a jealous vibe here. I'm not going to lie. Even if you look at the imagery, um, on the car, the person looks pretty possessive in the background, right? Um, but again, Six of Wands is a very public. It's a victory. It is a praise. It's like literally a parade, um, where someone's being, someone's reveling in their success as people are saying you great job you so with that public energy and that open relationship it does feel like this is a person that is very um expressive publicly right this is a person that may be a little touchy feeling in public this is a person that may want to um make sure everyone knows that there's a there's a connection here with whoever they're expressing their love language with like they're very physically expressive very actively expressive in their um love at the bottom so far you do have romantic sex i think i want six this is a big enough um stack that i can pull six comfortably um and then you have must have you soon so that's like this, we talk about that fire energy very passionate like that chemistry very very passionate individual it's a go 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 like when they're on they are on and it's like that's that's it that's all they want that's all they're worried about is is that adult themed energy when once they're on right so let me see what else i can get all righty 
We've got You Drive Me Crazy, Temptress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a person that kind of, um, and, and this is the second time that Hiding My Intentions was at the bottom um, of this deck while I was um, laying out cards. So this may, again, this is a person that may not be very expressive verbally, but or they may not always be expressive but for some re some reason this this energy is coming through as it's coming out and, and the must have you soon with the judgment card it's once this person kind of accepts like moves beyond whatever the awkward energy here is um with the rocky start in chemistry once this person gains trust and is feeling more trusting and open that's when all of this energy begins to shift very very quickly um, in this person's romantic connections. Like once this, I guess, because again, it, this is the second time it's at the bottom, this clears, like once they get over that, they can kind of move on to this opening of an energy and being very aggressive in their um, pursuit of whatever romantic connection, whatever love situation um, they have, right? And then you do, you have too self-conscious. So that kind of... Um, falling right on top of Rocky Star, right? That insecurity and um, protect yourself, right? You have that as well. So that's exactly what I'm saying. So that needs to be uninhibited. Yeah, so this is a person that's all that that needs to be in control, which makes sense with that Queen of Swords um, energy. Once this person releases control, once this person kind of makes this decision, okay, this is this is what I want to do. This is how I'm ready to express my love, and like I trust this person enough. That's how this person kind of um, begins to progress very rapidly. So it goes from very slow moving to rapid. Like it's not even like. Like, you know how there's a balance of sometimes it's just a steady increase, a, a steady progression. Not the case with this individual. This person, it is a very, very slow crawl initially and then boom, like really quick to the, ju to the just judgment. I'm saying just this, so that may be relevant for some of you here. Um, but yeah, I mean, one, this person's very... Um, sensual but there's like a there's a bit of a dark side i'm not gonna lie. there's a little dark edge in the 18 plus side not necessarily toxic but again a little bit possessive a little bit controlling some jealousy um some like again that that possessive energy that is showing through that card um that down sub energy that um praise kink kind of thing um, on both ends wanting the praise and wanting to be praised so that that's kind of this person's love language and how their um, sexual energy feeds into how they express it and how they want it expressed to them okay so that is all I have for you today pal one hopefully this resonated if it did please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching all right, pal two, if you selected the rose gold balloons, then this is your reading. So right when I finished resetting the decks for your pile, it was 2.22 p.m. So the numbers 222 may be relevant for you um, in your life or your connection. Um, yeah, so basically we're going to be looking at your person's love language. We're going to look at um, their adult themes in their mind as it relates to that like how that how their expression of love crosses over sexually um we do not get too explicit because youtube will shut us down so we um we get the information that we ask um without doing the most right <laughs> without doing the most so um i'm gonna start with this tarot deck get a couple of oracle cards um, astrology based, love based, and then um, sexual based, and then we'll close it out. Okay, so pile two the person's love language. I already knew that card was going to come out. If that's what I think it is that just hit the floor, I saw it when I was resetting the deck. So let me let me see. <laughs> it is so it's funny because um, love this deck because there is a um reversal artwork created so you can use that imagery as well um so 
when I was shuffling, I saw it upright. Obviously, I do not leave reversals in my deck. Can't do it. I'm a Virgo, so I have to um, put them upright. And if they fall in reverse, we roll with it. So I saw it. And I'm like, okay, that's some sneaky, low-key, private energy there. Well, Seven of Swords is coming out in reverse. So this is not, this is a person. So I'm, I'm being called, let you know, th this is a person that um, if this person is not behaving the way in which I'm saying, then this is either not your pile or this person is um, exploring their options or not as invested as you because this is a very transparent person. Like there is no question of what their love language is because it, it's very, very clear with this Seven of Swords in reverse, right? Seven of Swords upright is a sneaky, it is undercover, um, manipulative energy. This person is very clear about what 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 they mean and what they say and how they say it, okay? Um, the Hermit at the bottom, it's funny because I just talked about being a Virgo. Um, this person may be a Virgo, have Virgo replacements, or you may be, um, since this, is, this card rules that. Um, but again, Hermit is very thoughtful. It is um, a person that's very comfortable um, in them themselves and um, who they are. Um, justice is trying to come out. So that's um, Libra energy, so, but I'm not going to take it. it. It hesitated, so I did not. Um, you have the Eight of Wands, which did come out. See, again, very active, very clear, very expressive in their love language. Like, it's very sure, very certain. Let me get one more and I will take the bottom, okay? Let's see, power two. Okay, and just okay, so you maybe want to pick pile one. I was already getting that with that seven of swords in reverse. Some of you like to pick all of the piles, and that's okay. I appreciate the support. So let me um just lay this down here. So um it's interesting for me, um yeah, ace of pentacles. Like this is a this is a very stable person. When they decide that they are interested in um any type of connection, love based, especially um it, they they have no hesitation in pursuing it. So so again, very very active, um, very clear, very passionate person. Okay, and again, fast moving. So um, that may be the difference here between pile one and two. This is a very fast moving individual, very stable, right? Ace of Pentacles, but very fast paced in that Eight of Wands and that judgment card of not hesitating or whatnot. So let me get more cards so we can get more, we can develop this energy um, from this person. Because it's so fast that I got, I'm, I'm having a bit of a hard time slowing it down enough to get the details, if that makes sense. That's how, um, this person operates like they may not even be that much of a planner like ace of pentacles is the initiation of a plan but it's like they may i don't want to say they lack follow through with their plans um but but they're, they're very very active in that regard like it's go 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 it's like oh i want to do this boom i'm doing it without even like planning in advance it's like no i'm doing it right now why would i wait until tomorrow that's that's this person so let's see. Dream. Mmm. I like this energy for you. Hopefully this clears. Okay. It's a rainy day, y'all. So it's a, it's a bit dark. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit dark over here. But we're, we're working with it. We're working through it. So I like that dream energy. Um, At the bottom, you have rest. We're not going to take it. But that's... I was like, okay, so this is like some nighttime vibes. Maybe that's why the seven of... So it's in reverse. So if this is an individual that um this is an individual that's not with the sneaky link energy. Like they're not doing it. Um, and even if so, not for very long, they're quick to move on to something else because um like rest, dream, it's nighttime vibes, right? And seven of swords reverse it's like not being sneaky so it's like open outside in the ace of pentacles, right? In the material world outside of dream like this is not a person that's gonna like actively be like dreaming or fantasizing about somebody they're gonna hit them up like and not like i said not in a sneaky link way but just in a hey what's up kind of way because that's just the fast-paced energy that they hit through like they're like i will say that when this person doesn't have access to the the individuals that they're trying to express their love with they will 100 percent just kind of wallow in it at night in their dreams and as they're instead of resting because they have really bad nerves with that eight of wands but when it's an option when they're when like there's not like a distance 
blocking or you know any type of issue blocking like this is a person that's like hey like what's going on because that's just that's just how they approach things um not just love that's just how they approach life okay so um let me get from this moonology Mm -hmm. But in this person not kind of over fixating on fantasies, that doesn't mean that they don't think about, um, like this is a person that, that really have, has a glamorized view of love. And um, if this is a connection you're asking about, they think about you all the time, obviously with that eight of wands, but that dream is really some sensual energy coming through from a 18 plus perspective of like, um, like that's, yeah, that's a thing. So let me get more energy so I can finish developing that. Okay. We have a new romantic cycle begins, right? So that's um, the Libra card. New moon in Libra, actually. So aligning with the Ace of Pentacles, we have a new moon, like a new cycle. Um, so that may be a thing, especially with that Judgment card. Yeah, I will. Okay, so this person's love language so far is just very, very direct. It is like we're together. That's the energy. It is a new romantic cycle begins. It is, this is, we are an established thing. This is how, um, I plan to proceed with this and that Ace of Pentacles, um, after that decision's been made in the judgment card, right? Very active, very open, very transparent about, um, what they expect, um, as it relates to their connections. So let me, give me a second, because when I reset these decks, I moved my love face decks way across the room, which makes no sense. Okay, so, um, yeah. So now that I have those, let's start pulling these cards so we can see more. Because I really want to develop sex. This, I'm not going to lie, this person, um, as it relates to the adult theme energy, like when it relates to sex, this person is spicy. And I'm not even trying to be funny. I know that's like a crazy word to use, but like, they are like super energetic, like, like this is really fiery. Let me see what I can get more on this person's love language. Okay, I did get one. That's nice. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Ooh, okay. So um at the bottom you have friends first. We're not taking it, we don't have all that space, but you have devil in the skies in reverse. So let's read it. Let's read it up right. And um, then I will share my interpretation of this and why it's interesting. So it does say um, someone may appear like an angel, but has a hidden dark side. Don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. Now, with that being in reverse, I do find it like and I love how it falls under that seven of swords energy in reverse this is a person that people think is sneaky but they're really not and that's hilarious for me right now like people think part two that the person you're asking about like when it comes to love like that maybe they like give like for the streets vibe like maybe they give like player vibes like that they kind of date around but like this person is not for the streets if that's a thing like that's really not a thing they actually have like a very fairy tale rom romance based view of love with the new romantic cycle begins in that dream card like they're very like this is a lover not like a person that wants to be outside um all the time um so i just think it's interesting that that's coming through because for whatever reason, whatever this person gives off, it gives off that they are like that devil in the skies, like that they can't be trusted, but they truly can. And I don't know if that stems over to other areas of their life where people just don't trust them. Something about them just gives off like a mystery that people can't quite touch. Um, so, so they just, um, and honestly, I think um, judgment is ruled by Pisces and then dreams. So like Neptune and Neptune energy um that's both house energy it, it just it feels like they can't be trusted even though they can but they're very transparent in 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 their expression but for whatever reason everything this person does especially as it 
pertains to like the love language initially people don't quite trust it i don't know if they're just too sweet and kind or too passionate like it maybe it feels like love bombing but this person just doesn't seem like people treat them like they can't be trusted even though they can so and one of the things about their love language is getting out of that like knowing that people don't trust them knowing that they give off a certain vibe or that maybe they have a reputation whether it's true or not they, they proceed with their love language and making sure that I'm very clear with my expectations with people that I'm interested in I'm very clear and transparent about that so that's how your person um that's why your person's so fast paced as it pertains to like their pursuits and how they express their love and so very active like it's almost performative because they know how people see them or how they come across and they don't want their pre people that they're interested in will, will say you to see them that way right so let me pull from this these other two um love based eggs and clear story i did not expect that energy to come through but it's, it's always it's a huge prove the energy with this person like that's their thing it's all about proving that they can be trusted proving that they are um committed that they're interested in in, in romance and being in a partnership when they um when they have that so yeah you do have separation at the bottom and then the card that came out from this deck it is healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so again um Maybe some unhealed trauma stemming from their um, relationships with certain pam family members just in general. Could it be parents, could be just family in general, um, could be honestly like ancestry based. Um, I know people carry generational trauma um, in this life with them as they um, try to maneuver through situations and they kind of relive things that certain ancestors did as well as they try to break those cycles um generational curses as people would call them but this person um they they don't want to repeat the mistakes of um their family members of people around them that they know like family friends associates the, the connections that they see everything that they see that goes wrong in connections is what they want to avoid and it's possible that that may be why they have that kind of public outside dating multiple people vibe because when they commit they're serious about it so they don't like they don't plan to commit um often so it seems like they're eternally either single or just outside and dating with different people because like for them like if they're going to be in a connection it, it, it and it's something real they want it to be authentic and they want and they take it very seriously so um that may be what's coming through but this is the person that um when when we think this person kind of gives saturn energy very committed to the work right fast-paced energetic but very committed to the overall bill like i don't i don't know that I, I know i mentioned earlier that they kind of lack a follow through i don't know that it's a lack of follow through overall so much as it's a wishy-washy nature with their romantic connections because like they're looking for something that's special right and when they find that that thing that feels special to them whether it's temporary whether it's long term they're very dedicated and committed to building in that instance right with that healing family issues it, it's kind of a talking through issues like this isn't a person that's going to avoid trauma avoid issues like if there's a fight in a connection like they are going to work it out there's no oh i just don't want to talk to you it's okay okay i'll give you space but we're going to address it later kind of energy from this person very very nurturing so let me pull from this last um lovely deck and then we'll get into that erotic um deck and i don't i just threw a card out and i don't want it i want to take it it's emotional support i guess we'll take it fine um the bottom of the deck is actually interesting it's very relevant to the point that i was making so you have emotional support it says now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings so i just got through talking about like this is a person that's really like all about being there for that person like in an emotional way like making sure like you're good um from an emotional perspective and that you have everything you need to function as a regular person in society right you do have building a future right this one is a keeper your love life is ascending to the next level so i did talk about that kind of saturn energy of this person feeling very very committed like when they're in they're in and they're building and that's like they're all in right so that's nice this person's um 
has a very mature approach to love. Right? So let me let me see. Let me see what we get from these sexual things. Gentle, loving, very intense, but very, um, again, gentle, dedicated, nurturing, wanting to um, build. I think I want six of these. Very sensual. Okay, so this is again, this person that crazy. That is crazy. You got that again. That seven of swords in reverse. Devil in disguise in reverse. Like this person is the complete opposite of how they come across to people or how people just see them, whether it's just people spreading rumors or like um, just making assumptions about them or maybe they were a certain way in the past or maybe that's just their aura. Again, we talked about that mystery, people not being able to figure you out. This is a romantic. This person is a romantic. Look at that. Genuine, gentle, loving, sensual. Like this isn't um, a super kinky person. Um, they're not that's probably that devil in the skies in reverse as well it's like this person's not super kinky in that devil uh energy what is this yeah um and i we talked about that um nighttime energy i got um two cards that decided they would come out together um i got you drive me crazy so again very um all in right all in with just their person but there's dream and then i think it was like rest or something like that which gave me nighttime vibes and you have let's make love in the moonlight so again very very romantic person not super kinky not super freaky but very very passionate okay i want two more and then i'll take the bottom and we'll close it out two more please Okay, that's interesting. No strings attached. I think that's that energy coming through, that super player energy. If you see um there, you have feet that are kind of connected. It feels um it feels very intimate, right? Your my fantasy is at the bottom, and I want one more. Okay, fine, I get two more. Okay. Alright, so at the bottom you have can't handle you. And we'll take these um, two together because um, worth waiting. And then it was kind of clarified by obsession. So, okay, so maybe this, some of you, this person, they, they've kind of establish that reputation of not being trusted because they they do kind of do the casual thing um like they have physical needs right 18 plus the needs if everyone here on my channel we're all adults so that can that's understandable but um so maybe they've had a lot of casual situations but again it was very clear it's not like taking advantage it's not um manipulating anyone it is this is what it is um with the no strings attached but when they're in romantically when they kind of start getting those um tingles of love they get really, really sensual, really, really romantic, really, really engaged, right? You have you drive me crazy and obsession. This is actually a person, and that's why it was kind of um, not heavy, heavy 18 plus vibes because when this person is all in emotionally from a love language perspective, like it, like it's, it's, they're not really thinking about sex like that. If anything, they take their time because they're so invested in the connection that the, it, to them it's worth waiting, right? You have can't handle you. It's like they get so emotionally invested that it actually gives them anxiety sometimes about um, the sexual nature of the connection. So um, fast paced, right? And that's probably why it's so fast paced of getting familiar, getting comfortable, all in with the engaging of making sure um, people, you, whoever they're engaging on a romantic level, understand that they're interested so that they can kind of get past, I guess, whatever you may be in awkward phase of being unfamiliar so that they can kind of fully express the full spectrum of their feelings. Because when this person loves, this person loves hard, right? You have, you drive me crazy, can't handle you, obsession, like all in. Like this person loves 
hard, okay? And that um, can be a bit intimidating for some people. Um, so, so they're very careful and mindful in the way in which they um, express that with other people. So that is all I have for you today, pal two. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, pal three, if you selected the silver blue balloons, then this is your reading. So let's look at your person's love language and how that ties into um, their sexual energy um, and romantic connections. And this could be any type of connection you have on your mind, any specific person, or even if you don't have anyone in mind, you could be asking about um, what the next person that's going to come into your life romantically and how they'll express themselves as such right so let's see pile three let me see okay mm, very fun okay so um immediately the three of swords not swords oh my goodness hopefully okay so if this if you're currently going through like some pain, some trauma, if you've had very little success in the past, um, or maybe this person has had that energy, um, two things. It's either you and that's the life is going to change for you. Like when this person comes in, if we're talking about someone that's going to come in, or this is a person that has had a lot of trauma with the three of swords and therefore but they they're very good at transmuting that energy and transforming it into the fun and the pleasure that is the three of cups right like they make lemonade out of lemons that's this individual and this person always sees the bright side and that's super cute super sweet energy coming through for this person um i was going to say originally before um that three of swords trauma that this person's i guess masking or trying to make the most of slipped in is that this is a very romantic person um openly and st the past two piles had that energy too it's more action it's more day-to-day -day. this is a person that likes dates this is a person that wants to plan dates and i think it's interesting um um that you have the three individuals here that are blue because like, I, I don't know for whatever reason this card seems to go with the balloons you selected so this person is very good at coordinating um maybe n not necessarily just color coordinating but execution of events and and um like dates and whatnot like if this person is, is very good like if they have an all-day outing like they may start it in the day um have a nice little itinerary for you too like this is a person this, this would be a good person to go on vacation with like this this may be something that happens in their expression of their love language you know is executing a nice little vacation a little getaway with their person right um but very very fun energy coming through so far okay so let me see if I can get two more cards and then um, we'll take the bottom before we hit those Oracle decks. Yes. Okay. When we talk about um, this person being very good at executing and um, executing things, it, it's likely something... Um, it's likely something that they do in their career because they you have the Hierophant right here. but And, and this is also Taurus energy. So if your person is a Taurus, 100% makes sense that they would be um, good at that. It's ruled by Venus, um, the second house of having things. Um, Tauruses are known for um, appreciating the finer things in life, um, luxuries, pleasures. So um, it makes sense, right? Execution, it is an Earth sign, Earth-based energy. And this Hierophant is like... Um, it's almost coming through in an emperor kind of way, but it's kind of, it's it's not as aggressive. It's more of a silent presence, right? Like a silent leader, like, because like with the Hierophant, it's like a leader of like a religious organization, a spiritual system. Um, it is about institutions and structure. So like that's that kind of a leader kind of coming through. So that may be um, someone coming through from a very professional um, standpoint. At the bottom, you do have the Six of Wands. So this is a person that um, is successful to some degree with that Taurus energy, that second house energy, very stable um, person, which makes sense because if they have the luxury to kind of be able to execute, you know, really nice dates and whatnot, you have to be financially stable to do so, right? And that's this person's um, love language and their expression of it. Um, this is a per this is a person that actually would buy your love i'm not gonna lie um yeah that's that's why that's why that came through just now um you've got the five of cups 
Mm -hmm. That trauma is coming through. Um, I'll pull one more. I'm called to pull one more. Um, yeah. You've got the Ace of Wands jumping out. And at the bottom, you have the other Taurus card, the Empress. So your person may be a Taurus or um, Taurus placements. You may have Taurus placements. If not, this is just a very, very stable and financially stable individual. Like they, they've got, you know, whatever um, financially stable means relative to you this person's good so um and i say that because again you've got the two taurus cards very mature energy with the empress and the heart that nurturing energy coming through with that empress that giver um and making like again that person is the type to kind of buy your love because five of cups it is spilled milk i always call it that because that is what it is right it is a person that is wallowing in what they lack without acknowledging the two additional cups that they have standing beside them that potential and what they still have um and that that staggering the hierophant with the three of cups lets me know that um this person does carry a lot around a lot of baggage and they overcompensate for it right so they're really deep down looking at that um those three cups and and they're recognizing the pain and the trauma that is um their past experiences, their failures in love, their failures in friendships, career, whatever. And like they mask it again in that three of cups, right? But something about romantic connections and when they meet someone that they consider to be worthy or counterpart, right? Because I'm reading your person, regardless of gender, as that higher font energy. When they find an empress, again, regardless of gender, someone that they feel is they, they is worthy of their time and attention of pouring in themselves into that kind of ignites them in that ace of wands and kind of it gives them a reason to feel better right like they kind of i don't want to say rely on romantic partners to make them feel better about their past trauma but to some degree a little bit like they they really feel like um Old, like giving in that way like buying the love like planning these events honestly i'm not gonna lie that five of cups makes me feel like the person you're asking about whether it's someone you know or don't they like to find people that have trauma too so whether it that whether um and, and i'll say you so it's not confusing when i speak on it pile three but for example this person's interested in you because they see that you kind of rose of it up rose of a, a, up up from the ashes of some type of trauma that is the five of cups like they really admire that you have similar trauma to them or that you've experienced trauma and that you rose above it in other instances they have a savior complex right the higher font rules religion and whatnot too so like kind of a like a hero like a, a jesus complex right where they feel like they're a savior and that's why they have like this this energy of wanting to financially support someone that they like as i guess their love language and planning these nice outings and whatnot because they're like okay pal three is the empress and pal three is worthy and it's deserving but pal three has not had um the best circumstances so let me go ahead and provide this for pal three um let me be the knight in shining armor for pal three and that's the energy of this person that's how they express themselves in their love connections so let me pull from these other um oracle decks and we'll get in um some more clarity on how this person expresses their love and that was hot like quick right okay wolf moon like a like prey <laughs> right um sharpen instincts like jump right immediately um it gives me uh that attention to detail when i said um i think earlier i mentioned um a kind of an um and dream is at the bottom so kind of like a fairy tale effect i, I mentioned this person being very good at executing things and planning things and um that that is that is part of their love languages their attention to detail they remember everything you say they remember everything you do and they know what you like and what you don't like so that you don't have to you don't have to live a life where you're constantly asking this person um 
to, to, to know and understand you. They just do, right? Like this person knows you don't like X, therefore in any date, it will never be a, a thing that comes up. You don't like certain foods. They will never take you to eat those types of foods. Like, you know what I mean? Like they would never offer you that once they know, like very attentive in detail. Like they know you and they make sure you know that they know you to the point where they catch you off guard with the details that they've caught. Like there are instances with this individual that if you, you won't even realize that it was something to learn, right? Like you may just literally be having casual conversation, do something and they'll remember it. And then the next time something happens, they'll just bring it up like, oh, pile three, um, I don't know. Pile three doesn't like the color aqua. I don't know because pile three just like just weird random things that you barely realize about yourself. They'll know um, and whatnot. So let me pull more cards. Yes, huge planning and attention to detail coming through for this pile. Um, again, wanting to support you through trauma, wanting to save you from trauma. Like again, this is my savior pile. 100% this is my savior like again the other two piles had energy of um just acts of service kind of wanting to support and and take care and just showing through action the feeling pile three is I am going to save you from this horrible horrible world I promise that's interesting okay so let me see And honestly, there's two sides. There's a side where it is I'm going to save you from this horrible, horrible, horrible world. And also I'm going to use you as a distraction from this horrible, horrible world. Two sides. So let me get one. Okay, this card is interested to coming out. Right. Full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Again, very showboaty energy. I'm not going to lie. But not like aggressively so. Not aggressively so. Um, subtle, right? Like this isn't a person that like, again... When we're talking about especially financial stability with all of this Taurus second house energy coming through, this isn't a person that's going to like flaunt the fact that um, they're financially stable relative to you. Um, it's just going to be understood based on the way they pursue, approach, and nurture the romantic connection, right? Like it's not going to be, oh, I have money. It's going to be, oh this thing that we're doing, you're gonna kind of be able to put two and two together. Other people are gonna be like, that's not cheap. So, you know what I mean? Like people people will kind of assume and, and you will know simply because of the types of dates they're planning and whatnot, not because they're super aggressive and whatnot, right? You do have the bottom, full moon and Gemini, the answers you need are coming. So you do have two air placements here. So that may be relevant for you. Um, like I said, heavy Venus energy coming through, but that show the world the real you. Again, this is a person that it is like very open. It's open that their um, love language is very out and expressive because um, again, the direct message on that card, the three of cups, but you also have um, the Aquarius energy coming through, which is 11th house energy. It is um, like networking. It is like, um, actually it's very um, in alignment with that higher fine energy of like, um, like institutions and whatnot because it is socializing, but socializing not from a pleasure perspective, but from like an um, association perspective. Like it's your house of associates. It is your um, social network, your professional network. It is your... Um, your charity initiatives, the, the um, organizations you deal with with that, the connections you have based on all of the things you do like that, like in the community, the donation of time, stuff like that. So um, that may be relevant to the connection or um, how this person tends to meet people that they're interested in with their love language. Um, it may be relevant to how um, this person expresses their love language like this person may be expressive in charitable acts like again we have that savior complex maybe um we talk about that short end of the stick maybe making sure that you know that they support people like you like they may donate to certain organizations that deal with whatever traumas you have in your past like this person's very big on that savior complex like i'm not gonna lie it's a bit of a god complex just a little bit so let's pull from these love-based cards and then i'm gonna um 
I have three Love Base decks, and after that, I have the hybrid of the 18 plus deck that I'm gonna use. And we'll close this out because it is a rainy day, y'all. And I'm not gonna have light much longer over here because I like to pull by natural light. I don't like to use um in the house lights if I don't have to. It throws me off when I have to do that. So let me get into this. Okay, power threes, person's love language. Um, this is a person that likes public displays of affection. Before I even like pull, just looking at what I have here. This is a person that says pile three is my empress, emperor, because again, gen not gender specific and everybody knows, and this is this is what it is. Like I'm gonna post it all over social media because Aquarius energy is, is the internet. It is, I'm gonna tell the whole wide world that um, pile three is my person. Mm -hmm. Especially if this is a person that's been through hard times with you or has been, or has seen you through hard times like we talked about like they're they're the type to like make a testimony on the on the instagram okay like they'll they'll put a whole post like pile three has been this that and the other and they're an inspiration to my whole life like that's how this person expresses and like again they're not super dramatic they're not super over the top it's very subtle but just something about the way they do it it is very open right That's way too many cards. Come on, pile three. Their love language. I'm getting a, I'm having a hard time getting one of these love cards. Let's see. Maybe this deck doesn't like me. What's going on here? I actually got two that hit the floor, and I guess I'll take it. But I did say um, at the bottom here, I'm not going to take it. I'll just let you see. Materialistic love. This person is a person that will buy your love. Just, you know. Now, let's see what we have here. Got it. Okay. Um, I have to make space now. Give me a second. I'll put this here because I have two cards. So, we have long distance. It may be rough to keep the love alive or they live in another location from you. Try to stay positive. And it could be distance, right? Aquarius energy um, feels a bit like distance as well. Um, so that may be a situation. It may be someone you met from afar or whatnot. Um, or maybe it's someone that's super busy. We did talk about them being very successful. Um, but you do have power couple. Two people who are equals and fiercely independent from one another, encouraging goodness in the world. So while we did see that that materialistic energy and we talked about them buying you, I do truly believe that it is because they see you as that major arcana like them, right? If they're the hierophant, they see you as the empress, emperor, depending on, you know, gender not specific. They see you as someone worth investing in, someone worth um, saving because they see the potential, right? They see you as like their ultimate partner and that's the only way that's the only people they pursue they're not going to pursue someone they don't feel like they could have this um power couple dynamic with right and they're willing um in this long distance card to not engage anyone beyond um getting what they want like they'll be single before they just kind of settle for someone they feel is quote unquote unworthy right because part of what this whole one the savior god complex they have is them feeling like they deserve like um, the best partner romantically and that they deserve the perfect partner and right now pile three they kind of see that in you like in that empress card um that power couple card they see that in you and they're hoping um they can nurture that okay let me pull one more from each of the other two decks before we get into that erotic expression Give me a second. My card is like flying in a very, very odd place. Okay, we've got it. Okay, give your relationship a chance. So again, effort. We talk about effort. It says um, work on your partnership, which we talk about. Um, we've got power couple and partnership. So again, this person, not gonna lie, with all of this Taurus second house energy, this person is when they express their love and they interact with people, and that's probably why you have that Aquarius energy. Um, 
that 11th house networking energy it's got to be someone they can bring around their network whether professional charitable all of those things we talk about this person um being very stable in whatever career or endeavors investments they have and so whoever they're interested in they have to make sure this person fits um and that's why they're in their mind super selective really picky so um once they do that like once they clear you like once you pass whatever weird test um or whatever criteria um the you know the pre web the prerequisites for being with this person then they kind of um they're in they're all in and um they allow themselves to fall even further that's why it's been it's super service level until they kind of a stat like until they open up and they feel like okay boom pile three can be brought to my charitable you know organizations pile three can be in my professional network pile three you know can have this be the other half of my power couple dynamic you know now I can be free in further allowing myself to feel what I feel for pile three, right? Romantic feelings, you have um, your feelings are real and worth exploring. But they're not gonna they're they're not the type of person that allows themselves to feel any deeper than that surface level before they um make sure that the person that they're engaging fits. Okay. So that's why in the beginning stages of a connection with this person, Father, it's super materialistic. It's super surface level. It's like, it may, it actually feels like business, right? The 11th house of networking, higher, like it, it feels like business. It feels like, um, oh, and that was my other point is this person feels like it is a, um, they see, um, relationships as a contract specifically, like if marriage, they see that as a business contract, right? With power couple, um, work on your partnership. It's business energy. It is. If I were to marry pile three, what would the business arrangement be? Like, what does it look like? Right. That this is a person that wants papers written up. They want a prenup. Like they want to make sure that everything's good legally, um, in their romantic connection. Okay. Three. Mm, okay. So at the bottom you have vivid dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. As the connection deepens, your dreams become more pronounced and full of answers. So um all of you and I think so far have had reference to dreams. So just um that's a confirmation. Um, to everyone that's been watching these readings. Um, but the card that came out for you is Warm Embrace. It says, let yourself enjoy your partner's loving arms around your body. Their touch ignites a flame within you. Now, this is the first touch of um, like 18 plus energy I've gotten. Again, super romantic, trips, dates, kind of individual. Um, but once they, like I said, once they, like that long distance card with Power Couple, it says, we're not going to take this further beyond um, where you fit in my world. And once we realize that, then I can warm up a little bit, right? Warm embrace. Like once, once, once I, I realize you can fit, you can be this empress, you know, emperor, I'll close that distance. I'll open up more. I'll give the relationship a chance and I'll become more intimate with you. That's how this person sees um, their pursuit. That's that's how they express their love, right? It's very strategic. It's very business minded. It's okay. It works. Now let's invest emotionally in the connection. Um, where is it? But again, and that may be, this may be a person that actually, um, this is a person that probably does not, um, have sex with people that they're dating casually they um don't want it to um fog them mentally so that they can truly assess the person's character the person's um compatibility with them like this isn't a person that's going to be intimate until after it's established that it works that it's going to work that it looks good on paper then they'll invest themselves emotionally and pursue more intimate relations with the person okay Let me pull from these 18 plus decks. I merged them and I like it a lot better as one deck versus two separate ones. I think it gives more diversity in my messages since I've been doing that. So I'm definitely going to leave it like that. Let's see. I think I want six like I did in the previous two piles. 
Okay, possibly. Let me see these persons intimate. It started to come out. Now that it's like, okay, okay, I've established all three. I've established. Um, what is that? Okay. I'm going to put these back because that trauma is coming through. Um, we've got other lovers not open right now. At the bottom, it says stolen kisses. So I don't, we're not going to talk about that. That's, that's that five of cups that's, that's coming through. So let me, um, Cause we've moved on like you know this reading is already like almost 25 minutes so i want to get to the um 18 plus theme so that y'all don't like roast me in the comments and then um close this out so we're not going to talk about trauma we're going to talk about the 18 plus adult theme energy so let's talk about this person's sexual ex expression as it relates to um now i'm not gonna lie i did get a i'll take care of you message coming through just now it is that's again that savior complex like i'm all you need i'm all you know like i'll take care of you like you don't have to worry about anything kind of energy um and it is it does translate over to um the bedroom it is part of the sexual um i'm hearing the word kink and fetish but that's not the right word okay what is this yeah exactly sexual healing right and it came out combined with emotionally distant so we've got sexual healing and emotional distance and that, that's exactly what we talked about feeling that trust being a thousand for intimacy but also that he that um protective i'll take care of you energy i was just talking about right like you can open up to me you don't have to be afraid like especially if there's some sexual trauma with one or both of you in the connection um this is this is the person that's like you can you it's, it's a it's all about feeling safe so, so with sex with this person um their sexual expression of their love language is all about making the partner feel safe healing any trauma any especially sexual trauma it's like okay you don't have to worry about that with me i will never hurt you that way kind of energy so like i said it, it gets a bit dark i'm not gonna lie it gets a bit dark but um all about making sure that their partner knows that they're going to take care of them and um, protect them. All right. So let me um, see. Want you want to make you scream, right? There's that vulnerability we talked about, like making you comfortable, um, right? The seduction. We have seduction at the bottom. So um, again, that trust being comfortable and expressing right you go from emotionally a distant to want to make you scream and like opening up with the sexual healing that's that's this person's expression they do they tend to go for wounded individuals not gonna lie into role playing um oh yeah Gotcha. See, in, in lots of lots of expression. So this is a very ver vocal person. So you have sex with your ex and into role playing. So this is a person that literally will say to you during sex, like, your ex can't do it like me. Like literally, like your ex has nothing on me. Like this is a person that will literally say, tell me I'm better than them. Doing during sex. Like, I know it's chaotic. But that's kind of the energy that is coming through for this person. So again, very verbal, um, very vocal, wanting you to be vocal um, and making sure you know that they'll be better for you than anyone you've ever been with and that you'll never want anybody else. Okay, so I'm going to pull more. What's that? What'd I say? Dirty talk. And that flipped out. I was like, that's a real message. Like, so whatever that card is, it has something to say the way that it like flew out. So yeah, dirty talk. Like this is a person that's very expressive verbally during sex. Let me get two more and we'll close it out. Yep, testing your limits. Mm -hmm. Especially if there's trauma or if there's just a guard up, right? Like, cause everything is not about like trauma, like from abuse necessarily so much as there's a um there's a guard um there's a control issue right some people have control issues so if you're that person that like that emotionally the sick card is your control issues they're like let me push your limits and make you open up to me right like that's kind of um at the bottom you have intense affair so yeah like that's this person's way so i want one more and that will be it loving touch 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. That sexual healing, right? Into that testing limits. At the bottom, it does say going to make you mine. So again, this is a I tell me your mind person, right? Your ex can't do it like me person. This, per I, this person really does have a God complex. So none of this energy that's coming through surprises me. So it's, it's just funny um, and very entertaining right now reading this. But again, dirty talk. This is a, you know, tell me what I want to hear kind of person. Um, testing your limits. You know, want to make you scream. Taking you to your peak kind of individual. Um, but very loving, right? from a from that but very loving again sexual healing so it, it sounds a bit aggressive right with the tell me your mind and everything but it's not it doesn't give that energy it is it is very much um sexual healing it is um loving touch it's making you comfortable so that you're not emotionally distant so that you're open right testing that limit to getting you to express yourself and the want to make you scream during sex as well okay so that is all i have for you today pow three Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.